everybody, how are you? This is Leslie from Scrap and Life Away, and I'm here to bring you my creative year 2018. And the prompt for this week is temper. And when I think of temper, I think of the color red. So let's get started here. I already have my um watercolor paper here already cut to size that I want it to be and I have already pre gessoed it with my um with my homemade gesso and I will link the uh recipe for that in the description below I have a video on how to make that so again I've already pre gessoed that so on my palette I'm going to take my deco art americana craft paint in cinnamon red which seems rather appropriate and it's amazing to me how um ooh, I've got some goopy stuff in here move that off to the side it's amazing to me how um emotions are um color different colors represent different emotions, such as green with envy. Oh, we still got squishy stuff on there. Um, you would think that this paint would not be so clumpy since I use it quite a bit. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, as I was saying, it just is amazing to me how different colors evoke different emotions and for me red brings about um, to me anger or temper and everybody has a temper in one way shape or form um, or you have to deal with temper so let me um, give this a quick heat set and probably a second coat because it's kind of streaky and I'll be right back. Okay. I have gone ahead and added a couple of coats. I think it took about three coats of the red to get the coverage that I wanted. Um, even though red is a dark color, same with black, your darker colors, you actually need more um, coats to cover something because it is so dark and I really wanted a, an even kind of color to them. Um, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm not sure who this is by. I'm kind of thinking that it might be Tim Holtz, but I'm not positive. I'm just going to kind of tear it. just want to add some oh no some texture I guess should I have a plan for these but don't want them to look uniform, meaning all the same shape. This one can be upside down, it doesn't matter. But anger, temper, um, a lot of times people say, don't let your temper get the best of you. That's true. I mean, don't let your temper get the best of you, but also remember that temper is a natural human emotion. But I also like to think, you know what, um, I don't want to say I'm better than my temper. But I also like to think that 
some people will try to evoke, provoke your temper. And um, I'm better than that. I am better than that. All right, so this is down. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a little bit of matte medium, just a tad. Where's my small brush? And I'm just going to kind of go over just these because my paint is already matte in color. But I want to go over these because washi tape has been known to um, not be the, the most um, stickiest. There's a tendency to raise. So I just want to get those down. But I deal with temper all the time. I work with kids. I work in elementary school. Well, I used to work at a high school. You want to talk about tempers. Holy cow. Um, a lot of tempers there. But the problem is, is that when you're working in an elementary school, a lot, of, a lot of these kiddos will have tempers and they don't know why. And they don't understand. Why am I so mad? I don't understand. Um, and I get that. I get it. But nothing ticks me off more than when someone evokes or provokes someone's temper um, on purpose. Let me give this a quick dry and I'll be right back. Okay, I've dried this and I've trim, trimmed my edges back, but it's still, it's too in your face red. So. I'm going to go to my old favorite, pink, <laughs> which is, like I said, one of my favorites. So I'm going to take some bubble wrap. And I'm just going to kind of go over this to push that red back a little bit. Because I want the red to be seen because it's the emotion. It's the emotion of a temper of anger. But I have some things to write down. So I don't want to cover up all my red. I just want to push it back. I might even throw some white in there. Yep, I think I will. Where's my white? Antique white. Wait. Should have poured it on the pink. I should have put some pink in there. But anyway. I really think that everyone has a temper. People need to realize that um, anger is a normal emotion, but it's how you deal with it. And I guess that's the part I want to get to with this piece, is how do you deal with that anger? Um, for me, it's journaling. Um, I have been journaling for a long time. 
Um, but like I said, the thing that always angers me the most is when people try and evoke um, evoke a reaction of temper from you on purpose. Um, to me, that's the uh, that's just a crappy thing to do, but it happens. But it's how you react to that, and you can react to that in a positive fashion. And I'm going to show you how. But I think I've gotten most of that. Well, do I want to go over that? I'm putting something in this area. I'm trying to debate whether I want to go over this area or not. I'm thinking not because I want my, my image that's going to go here to really stand out. All right, let me dry this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're all nice and dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Goddess Stencil by Gina Ahrens. It's available for purchase on her, at her Etsy shop. Put this right in the right spot. Something like that, I think. Go straight. Is she straight? I think she's straight. I'm just going to put some painter's tape down here, as well as on the other side, just for this portion. And I think I want to put some painter's tape on the bottom as well. So I don't want her to move just yet. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versamark, uh, which is a watermark stamp pad, and I have just um, re-inked it so it's nice and juicy. And I'm gonna kind of turn this um, just for the purpose of being able to get, make sure my ink is all getting in here. Sorry if you hear the dog bark in the background because you know every single time I go to record she feels the need to bark and now that the weather is warmer people are out walking their dogs or whatever and like I said she feels the need to bark which drives me insane and I know it's not a long trip <laughs> But anyway, to me, this goddess just says peace and tranquility. And when you have a temper, you're in the middle of a temper episode. I like to think of this goddess. And I'm going to pull just one side up. I just want to see how that's looking. Pretty good. Over on this side here. And yes, we are going to be embossing. And it looks like her eyes and nose need a little help. Gina's stencils are absolutely fabulous. I absolutely love them. Kind of get this in here a little good. I may trim part of this out because I know this is just so enchanting, so, so fun to watch, right? But I'm just trying to make sure I have all the bits and pieces in here. Put 
that side down. Put this side up. Just want to see how she looks. Looks wonderful. Okay, I think that's going to be good enough. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this all off. away this tape don't need it lift that up part of her I got a little smeared but that's okay I don't know if you can see how she looks you see her glistening there okay so now what we're going to do I'm going to remove her from this piece of paper here, this parchment paper. It's not parchment paper, it's uh, deli paper. But I've had this piece of paper uh, taped down on. <laughs> Maybe this is the part I cut out. I'm going to set her here. I'm going to bring this over. Now this is black embossing powder from Creative Memories. Uh, Creative Memories. Close to my heart, sorry. <laughs> it's old, it's very old, but it will serve its purpose. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this all over Our Lady. And I'm going to just shake that out. over to the side bring this over here and I'm going to dump this back in There's only some minor spillage it's not too bad okay I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna clean her off a little bit because as you can see She's got some dusty parts to her. Let's see if I bring it up. You can kind of see the dusty shadowy parts. I'm going to uh, take a fine brush, um, paint brush, and um, get rid of all those because I don't want them on my piece. And so I will take care of that. I'll be right back. Okay, I've cleaned her up as best I could with a brush so you can see she's a little bit clearer but now I'm not going to um, wait till I heat emboss her I am NOT going to turn the volume off um, and mute it while I'm doing this process um, or actually you know what yes I could I'm gonna turn the volume off but I'm gonna let you see it because some people have not necessarily ever done this process before and I want you to see how cool it is so I'm going to go ahead and, hmm, you know what, I don't know how to mute this while I'm doing it. I might mute it while I'm editing it, but showing the process. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Where do you see this? She's going to be beautiful.
Okay, can you see how beautiful she is now and shiny? Isn't she gorgeous? She's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I just love her. And see how that see how that embossing powder just melts with the heat and it's just wonderful. I may come in with a little bit of the pink and red, but I want to make sure this is dry. It actually cools down pretty quick. And it did. So what I'm going to do drop a little pink. I'm going to drop a little white. I'm going to come in a little bit closer around her. Where's my, there it is. Know why I'm using that end? That's ridiculous. Let's not waste any of it. We'll just put it on the bubble wrap. So I'll kind of come in a little bit closer to her. So this way she's completely surrounded. Oh, she's so beautiful. Um, in case I didn't say it before, the name of this stencil is called Goddess. And you can get it in Gina's Etsy shop. And there's Sophie working at something. Goodness gracious, that dog. I love her. She keeps me safe. That's for sure. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let me clean up because I have a little bit more work to do here and I need some clean hands. I'll be back. Okay. This is all pretty dry for the most part. What I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a line across this because I'm going to write something. I can't draw, I can't write a straight line across if my life depended on it, so this works out really well. One, two boards with one stone. And then let's come over here. See those? Okay. I'm not sure this is what I want to write with. Let me see what pen I want to write with. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to try this a black sharpie so these are ideas these are things that techniques that I use when um, I feel my temper getting up
do. Remember to let me let me bring it back out. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I hope you can see this a little bit better. From where I'm sitting is beautiful. I know it's kind of hard to see for you guys. Sorry. So again, when you find your temper is getting the best of you, or you're working with someone who is having a temper issue. <laughs> Remember to breathe slow, concentrate on renewing your spirit, calm your thoughts, try and turn it around to have a positive focus and recharge your soul. Don't let that negativity come back and get you. It's not worth it. Here we go. So there's my Here's my piece when it comes to regarding temper. I may do a little more doodling on her. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I hope you enjoyed my creative year 2018 with the prompt using the word temper. Thanks so much for sticking with me through this process. And I'm going to end it here. And remember, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thank you so much and have a great night. Bye, everybody.